I, Jason, have gone with the Argonauts and embarked on a great journey to get the Golden Fleece. As I have gone on this journey, I have reached this island known as Colchis. There I met a fair beauty known as Medea. Her father, the king, wanted me to embark on many challenges so that I may get the Golden Fleece. He did not trust me, but Medea did, and she, she vowed to do everything she could to help me. Oh, and one of the challenges of which this king made me do was plow the fields with fire-breathing oxen. Luckily, Medea gave me a salve to put on my skin to reflect the fire. Afterwards, now as my journey continues on forth, Medea has slayed her own brother to stall as we get the Golden Fleece. She has used her narcotic powers to get the dragon to fall asleep. And now I shall get the Golden Fleece. Ugh, I've officially killed and gotten the Golden Fleece. Oh, my mistress. Why did you have to go and sacrifice everything to steal the Golden Fleece with Jason? She loved him so much, and all he's done is leave her. Hello, nurse. Why aren't you with our poor weeping mistress? She's just so upset, and I can't bear to see her like this. Hasn't she given up her crying yet? Oh, she's not even halfway done. Poor, poor fool. She's so ignorant to what is to come. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. I regret the words I just used. Don't by your beard hold your words for me. Oh, all right. I was down by the dock, and I was heard the chess players talking about that she's going to be banished by King Creon. In that case, you better take the kids inside. <laughs> you children, I hate you. I hate you all. I hate your father. Why must I suffer? What Jason did was terrible, but how can your children share in their father's wickedness? Why don't the gods kill me now? Why does the lightning just split open my head? I do fear that something terrible is going to happen. He made a promise to me, and he broke it. And I'm going to talk forever because this is what we do. We talk for seven years because it's an epic. I don't know what to do because all we do is freaking talk. <laughs> Hello, my dear. I've heard the awful truths of what Jason has done to you. I am fearful for you and your family that you may hurt someone you love. In this, I must banish you. No! Please, you can't! Don't banish me! I have to. Your words do not dissuade me, woman. Please, just think of the children. I will allow this. I will allow your children to stay, but you, you must leave. One, one day. Please, just one day. I will accept your wish, although I know it will be a bad one. Because then I can kill them. I heard that your bitter tongue got you exiled by Creon. Don't be such a coward. Why don't you just grow a pair? I did this all for you. I gave you my home. I took you out of the barbaric wasteland. For me. You did this all for me? What do you think I did for you? I got you this fleece and dishonored myself. What I did was not right, but it will, I do not regret it. I will give you this money, I will give you my home, and I will take care of these children. But I want you to exile yourself and yourself only. I don't want your pity. And you're such a coward. Why didn't you just tell me you were going with her? I cannot, because I knew you would not accept this. My children from you are not worthy of me, and I need to be with this princess so that I can have children of my legacy, my home. Yeah, well, I hope your children have cow heads. Yeah. Well, hello, my good friend, Medea. King Aegis. Oh, but why do you look so down? I've... I've been exiled. Is there anything I can do? Well, could you let me come back to Athens? I will allow you, but I cannot take you myself. You must get there by your own means. I can do this. Nice seeing you. this dress with my poison. I've heard that you came to summon me. Yes. I was simply a shrew. Please, forgive me. Finally you speak sense, woman. I shall listen to your words and forgive you. Please, 
take this as a token of my gratitude for the new couple. Of course. Thank you. And now Jason, our children die. <laughs> <laughs> dress you gave my fiance. My love. It killed her and her father too. And now you kill my children? What is this? Is this how a mother should act? You never loved them anyway. I love them more than you ever did. Please, just let me feel their delicate flesh one more time. Please, Medea, if you have any love left in you, please. No. Go bury your bride. <laughs>